So this is my bookshelf. And the reason I started writing was because of authors that I discovered that I love to read. And so you can see here we've got Katie's books, Fiona Walker, uh, Christina Jones, Carol Matthews, Wendy Holden, Jill Mansell, and of course the Queen, Jilly Cooper. I think actually she should be Queen. Um, because it all started with her for me. Once I discovered Jilly, I discovered a world that I wanted to live in, the, the places that she wrote about, and it was after that. I sort of realised that I wanted to write, but I knew that I didn't want to write about the same things Jilly Cooper was writing about. But then I discovered other writers like Katie Ford and Christina and Karen Matthews, and knew that these were worlds that I wanted to create as well. So, so it looks a bit like a shrine, but I'm not a stalker, honestly. <laughs> So, um, yes, this is my stable, and every time they have a new one out, I'm there buying them and, and putting them on my shelf and loving them. And it's my, it's my special time. When I go to bed at night, and I've had a long day, three kids, working, and it's my time when I go to bed and read. It's my special time. And that's why I read the books that I like writing as well, because I want to go to a happy place, and I want to know nothing bad is going to happen. So that's why I love to read and write these types of books. So this is me, really. And because I have three children and a very busy lifestyle, I occasionally manage to find time for a little glass of wine. Um, so that's the glass of rosé because I've just written all about a vineyard. Uh, I'm still just doing the research on that. Um, and this is my oyster catcher mug because my first book was The Oyster Catcher that I wrote whilst we lived in Galway. Um, and just wanted to, I love to write about food, because I think when you go to a place, when you discover the food of a place, it kind of takes you by the hand and just introduces you to the culture, the history, the way of life, everything about the place. Once I got to Ireland and discovered the oysters and discovered the industry and the, the oyster festivals and I thought this is what this place is really about and the history behind it and it was the same when I was writing about olives and now I've been writing about southwest France and the wine and the history that goes with that as well. So that's my oyster catch mug and this is my little guilty secret. I love, love, love um, romantic comedies. And if I can ever get a little bit of time for myself with my cheeky glass of wine <laughs> and a romantic comedy, then that's really, that's me happy. That's me done. <laughs> <laughs>